What's the most common type of malignant ovarian tumor? That would be cystadenocarcinoma, which is usually caught late with a poor prognosis. We show cystadenocarcinoma here through two sisters in denim, riding in a car with a gnome, and their limbs are non-germy ovaries because they're non-germ cell tumors arising from the ovarian surface epithelium. We have two types of cystadenocarcinoma. Mucinous tumors, shown by mucus, present with mucus-secreting cysts and may lead to peritoneal spread, shown by the parrot toe. The other sister holds seltzer to show the serous form. Here, you see somoma bodies, the Samoan, which are papillary structures with round calcium deposits, and the Samoan has two ladders in his hands because tumors are often bilateral. They are the most common type of malignant ovarian tumor, shown by the malignant man invading. Stromal invasion is often seen, shown by our straw man. Increased CA125 is a common ovarian cancer marker, shown by the CA125 road sign, while the breast of chicken for lunch represents BRCA1 and Lynch syndrome, hereditary risk factors for cystadenocarcinoma. These sisters in denim get in trouble when they hitch a ride with a car gnome. They're a non-germ cell tumor, so they sparkle like treasure, and the malignant man wants them for his collection. He enlisted the help of an invading straw man army to catch the sisters. Now they're attacking on this stretch of California 125 highway, where they went to enjoy Braca breast chicken for lunch. There are two types of cystadenocarcinoma, one for each sister, and they're each being attacked differently. One sister gets sprayed with mucus when a parrot toe steals her lunch. The other sister fends off a Samoan who's attacking by ladder, using only seltzer water. Remember, the mucus is green like parrot toe, and the Samoan gargles seltzer water while swinging his ladders. Mucus, parrot toe. Seltzer, Samoan, by ladder.